Come on, Ruby. the Black Rock Ranger Station on the Bridger Teton National Forest in northwestern Wyoming in the shadow of the Tetons to show you a little bit about our premier stock program. So here at Black Rock we get wild mustangs from, that have been rounded up off of the BLM for free. And we pick them up as weanlings or yearlings and train them. That a boy, that a boy. That a boy, that a boy. Every time I get these horses, they start to impress me more and more. And by the time they're about four years old, then they're ready to go out on the trail and go to work on the National Forest. This district has 40 head of horses and mules, and the use of stock is integral to the management of this ranger district. We manage the Teton, wilderness area, almost 600,000 acres of wilderness, a very wet wilderness, a lot of river and creek crossings, and there's no more remote place in the lower 48. It's a really the most efficient way to get across a lot of our backcountry areas to pack in supplies for wilderness rangers. We use them to actually do trail work. Well, without the stock, we couldn't get the work done. They support us tremendously. They bring in all of our tools. They bring in our food. And you know, we, we've got a six to eight person trail crew and we're going in, we're doing hard physical labor for eight days at a time. And then the tools alone, I mean, we're packing just for a three person trail crew. We're building the bridge this week. We've got over 200 pounds of tools. You know, just, just one tool alone. The rock bar is about 25 pounds. Today we're going in 15 miles. So imagine carrying a rock bar. was just one tool out of, out of all the tools that we have. So it, it's protecting the resource by using the animals to build a, a trail that can support the amount of use that these trails get with the stock. Because our main user here in the Teton Wilderness is stock users. And without the stock program, you can't build a trail that can withstand the stock use. The stock program here at Black Rock is it's vital to the program here. Without it, we couldn't do any of the work that we're doing here, in my opinion. The, the trail structures that we're building, the, the public contacts that we're doing, the educating, and it's just, it's impossible without the stock. They do, they do everything for us. Horses are used all over the National Forest System, at least in the West. So one of the really cool things about what we do here at Black Rock is we get weanlings and yearlings, wild mustangs that have been rounded up off of the BLM, would otherwise spend their life sitting in a pen, and we train them to do work on those same public lands that they came from. And another thing that we do here at Black Rock is train our employees to be able to safely use these animals. And these stock animals are extremely well trained. They can do a lot of maneuvers and it looks pretty fancy in an arena, but the reality is that that's what helps them and the rider and the animals stay safe, be more efficient at the work that they can do. My name is Jack Hatch. I'm a stock, the stock manager for Black Rock Ranger Station. Every time I get these horses, they start to impress me more and more. You know, so I've never seen a horse not work. I've never, we've never had one not, not be successful. And you know, a lot of these mustangs are pretty handy if you give them a chance. They're whatever you make out of them. You 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 teach them things and you train them and and then they they turn out good. If you ignore them, they don't turn out good. You got to be always improving them and, or training on them or teaching them things 
<laughs> and that's what makes these horses successful and that's yeah it, it works it's all through respect but they want they want to be good and they want to learn stuff and they want to work but you got to push the right buttons and you got to ride them correctly i just if they do something i like i'll reach down and pet them and and they know when they get pet or if i if i talk to them they know that they've done good oh boy they ought to go Whoa, I, I talk to them a lot. I'll send that a good, good, you know, I'll, I'll let them know. I'll communicate with them. Like a lot of times if I want to work him, I might go nose, nose, shoulder, shoulder, whoa, whoa, hip, 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 nose, shoulder, shoulder, hip, 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 that a boy, 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 that a boy. It has to be preparing the horses properly getting full complete body control of the horse and then and then preparing the human to be able to take any horse and put a handle on them because any horse a lot of these handles can be put on pretty quickly and, and they're easier to put on if there's no baggage on them and i find if you get young mustangs and you pour the feed to them they, their potent their growth potential they get like this horse here he's 16 hands four-year-old mustang um, they just get a lot bigger you know and then i can get them you know we can spend more time with them at a younger age these horses have better feet better bone this horse wears a you know most of these mustangs are wearing twos and threes so they're pretty big footed got a lot of foot under them they got a lot of bone their bone density is better than a domestic horse. Their hoof density is better than a domestic horse. And all the horses that we keep here just get gentle. They just gentle up. They're preferred now on this district. People want to ride Mustangs. They don't want to ride domestic horses in the back country. They actually turned out to be better in the long run than the domestic horses. And you could ride them every day and they'll hold up to it. And most of my domestic horses can't can't take that. So in order to run a successful stock program and really take these animals from weanlings or yearlings into safe, reliable animals out in the field, it takes really skilled horsemen like we have in Jack Hatch, Chris and all the others. Or there's few people around that really have the skills that Jack has and it takes people like district rangers and forest supervisors who believe in the program and understand the importance of using these animals to get work done out on the national forests. So what we gain in efficiencies in terms of the amount of work we can get done and the amount of country we can cover is worth every bit of the investment that we put into these horses because we can provide the well-trained stock that we need to use to do the job. We can also provide the training for employees so that they understand how to use these animals safely to get their work done. So this program really is integral to how we accomplish our work here on the Bridger Teton National Forest. They remain the most efficient tool to get us into the backcountry. And my hope is that this continues into the future.